Ethan and Merlin were saying we've really got to jump in this cab. Very special cab. This is new. There's like this joystick thing for this here. I haven't seen that on too many of the smaller machines. It's usually like a big metal handle. Yeah. <sighs> That this doesn't hit your head when you put it up. <laughs> uh, it probably would. You're pretty big. <laughs> How's it going? Not ah, too bad. We're checking out the uh, the new machine. Yeah. What's, what's the scoop on this? What can you tell us? So uh, 309 just came out this year. Um, basically, the biggest feature on this is geared to, uh, to run stuff like mulchers or rotovec heads. So it actually has a separate hydraulic pump for those. So it's not necessarily a high flow, but you're not pulling off the hydraulics from the uh, um, tracks and everything. So it has enough flow to power the uh, units. Um, the other things that I can do, uh, rather than doing the speed control, the pilot controls, and it's got cruise control. So you can actually set it. Go down the road, eat a sandwich, whatever you want to do. Um, Very nice. What um, did they have to do anything different with like coolers and things for hydraulics to run? Multiple you know what, Dad? I'm not too sure on. I, I haven't heard anything about that. Um, the biggest thing that they've uh, that I've heard is, is the separate pump. Separate pump. Yeah. yeah. Dedicated pump. Yep. So does that pump work with? Um, you know, if you got a pump or something like that, is that yep. pump? That's that's what that pump's for. Is that yep. Auxiliary. Yeah, pump. exactly. It'll, it'll basically just run off the lines just like you would with anything else. Um, it's got the key strain as well for the mulchers, um, so you don't have to worry about that. But it's it essentially the same as the, the two-way line, yep. um, just with its own pump. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, I, last I heard, there's a, uh, two of them in the state right now. Just two of them. That's what I was, uh, speaking of just things in the state, I think it was Rachel Contracting got yep. the first D6E yep. in the country, Yep, I want to say. Yep, they did. Yeah, so I actually Very grew cool. up in Annandale, Donnie Rachel's a uh, family friend of ours. So, oh, yeah. sweet. Yeah, cool. Yep. I cool. saw that on Facebook and I was like, that's pretty bad. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. really good. Yeah. So, you know, once you do the right thing, right. you can get that license, the So, this is how much compared to a 308. 308's the one with the same. Uh, yeah, so essentially. Yep. So how much bigger? It's the same. So the way our numbering system works, the 308 is 8 ton, 309 is 9 ton. So just a little bit bigger. Yep. And then the power wise, has it got more power? Uh, you know, I'd have to double check my specs on the horsepower. I think it's very similar. Yeah. <laughs> and then the other uh, big difference too is, is you can actually you have a lot more visibility out that passenger side with the lower uh, okay, cab. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, is this a button to turn the beeper off when you're moving? That's a yeah, you, yep, you can turn the, the alarm off while you're moving. Yep. Yep. Thank God we find that right. Yeah. Yep. Always looking for ways to unplug them. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what Alright, guys, check this out. These guys put stickers over all this. Super cool. Really good job with the branding on this truck. Super sharp looking truck. Businessman. Oh, he's on the phone over here. getting on Instagram. I don't care what they say, it's still a tiny cap. <laughs> they got, so they're saying it's three inches wider. Basically, I think what they did, because if I remember correctly, 
these kind of like bumped out right here for the controls. So what happens is, and I noticed this when the John Deere when I was running it for like 12 hours um, in the woods, going over sticks and like logs and stuff. When you're like bouncing back and forth, your legs will kind of get sore right here from slapping off. So I can see where that would help. Honestly, if they put like padding right here, that would actually be like a pretty good feature, just like a little bit of padding right there. That is something I've noticed. But I, just, I mean, like the foot room and everything on these is just so small. It's just All right. So for everyone wondering, this is their new D3 series machines. We have another one here. Uh, they allegedly made the cabs a little bigger. Getting in and out is definitely easier. Door opens more. Wider. Door opens wider. Hmm. So this is Snow Wolf's new live end. Cage and Cage just came out with this as well. Snow Wolf. I think this year they both just came out with their own edge. Basically, it's just a cutting edge that floats up and down, like you see on the metal clutches and things like that. So, I think I don't know about Snow Wolf, but I know Cage is the idea is you can bolt it onto like any plow to an extent. There's a it's not just for their plows, you can put it on other plows. They've had it on county plow trucks, like pickup trucks, and things like that. But, that's cool. Very nice. All right, guys, we're checking out this Cat 918. Colton's going to be jumping in here. Here, hand me that bag. Can you get in? No, I think I'm supposed to get in. Yeah, there's steps on it. You're not really supposed to. Hold the camera. Spent a considerable amount of time in Komatsu's WA 200s and 270s. So we'll see how she feels. She's got lights here, something here, radio here. I will say, I don't. It's got to be a little smaller than the WA200. I, like, yeah, I feel like it's half for sure. The yeah. whole thing is. <laughs> we'll blur you out. <laughs> Interesting. I was saying that Komatsu had a like spot for a lunch. You can put a whole lunch pail behind that. Mm -hmm. But like I was saying, I think that's a bigger machine, obviously. Yeah. So. Oh, Any questions? They were just bought by Yanmar. They were? ASB was just bought out by Yanmar. Oh, yeah, they always have been chintzy. Look at this. Look at this little cushion here. Look at And then this comes down. They got the little cushion here. Look at That's what holds it in. That. That little cushion is going to keep that there all the time. Yeah, there's, that's going to take about a year and it's going to be vibrating like crazy. <laughs> Well, you can have a bag if you want to. Scarty got one. Look at that, he's on it. Thank you. Yep, no problem. Oh, good. Morning. How are you doing? Not bad, dude. 